Hello friends, welcome to the lab text. My name is Nasser and today we have a not triggering case and uh, this is the Dell Vegas 15341. This is very famous motherboard and uh, I have received it with not triggering. So the condition is really very pathetic. I don't know why people are habit to do BIOS, change IO and uh, change 3.3 and 5 volt regulator change uh, uh, charging IC and then send it to us this is also changed and it seems the liquid damage area you can see that it is it has some corrosion and carbon and uh, see the this area is also worked this is the RTC area and uh, and why RAM IC is done if it is not triggering RAM IC is also done sometimes what does happen when you trigger and off on and off then there could be suspect of RAM IC or run area but in the not triggering case I don't believe that it ha it should have any issue oh this is miss missing uh, this is the LAN IC maybe short circuit has taken place this is our duty to guess that uh, what he has done and why he has done these types of thing like uh, i was thinking when i received sometime when we receive nothing is written on the board like this motherboard i have received received and it is written nothing written so first of all in first vision when we see the board we try to decide that what could be reason there uh, it should on or not or it should on and no display or on on off so since this particular board is written like here it is written my employee has written here dead d e a d okay something he has written like it means that he might have conversation with the customer and he told that uh, it is not turning on so not triggering case condition you have seen that controller is changed many more things has been changed so let me inject the DC and you will pay attention on the ampere no ampere no variation let me inject no variation okay this is the ampere no variation so I hope that uh, 19 volt must be okay in such case so how should you begin any motherboard how should you begin uh, the process again and again I'm telling you for a long time but again if you don't understand or if you feel that uh, you are not feeling confidence in the repairing or you are lagging of something like bias editing and uh, charging requirements and uh, many more things in the repairing line we have to be jack in all the trade like little bit we need to have a knowledge of bias editing we need to have information of the DSO we need to have information of the switchings we need to have the information about the communication we need to have information about the PCH Intel's their 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 characteristics like uh, GPIO ISH we need to understand about uh, the IDs uh, configurations and uh, we need to understand about the compensations many things we need to understand so little bit not it you have not to go in the depth of any particular part like keep on cleaning the bias and editing the bias there is not only the bias issue in the motherboard you have to know each and every things like charging IC concept you need to know you need to know the 3.3 and 5 volt concept the IO requirements the basic triggering requirements on off low loads requirements many things you need to understand when we you repair the motherboard so if you are thinking that you are not feeling confidence for you like uh, the, the August uh, offer is going on as uh, we have discussed so you can see here since very few days is left to finish this offer and this is the very you can say that bumper offer for you and uh, across the world I have launched this offer and uh, you can see that nowadays it is 300 videos along with case study around 40 case study would be there with case study and 300 hours and this is my guarantee if you watch full video you will feel different type of confidence in the repairing you will think that yes what type of problem I will face now 
as of now what does happen that when you receive any board you think that what will I do what will I do this types of problem happens but after doing this course yeah, really you will feel happy to receive the any type of problem so the various things and variety of things are stuff in this uh, uh, offer and this uh, has started from 15th of August and this will be valid till 15th of September. Now the August is going on and uh, very few days is left. If you want to know that how many contents are in the course, so you just contact on the given number and I will tell you also the uh, the price of this offer because earlier what as many of you have inquired before, you might have understood that what is our fees and uh, now after 25 percent of discount you can calculate that what you are going to get those who has never queried us you just text the whatsapp message on the any of this number and uh, you will be answered as soon as possible because uh, sorry for that if we could not respond to you because we have uh, lots of work it's uh, three o'clock in the morning and i'm working because i have loads of boards around 10 boards is, is still remaining and uh, at the daytime i have to uh, take classes as the Dilar sir is also busy in his work so that is why sometimes we cannot pick up calls and cannot respond to you very soon but if we skip to answer you before 15 September your offer will be still valid after 15 September remember so once in a year we launch this type of worldwide offer and this is really a great opportunity for you if you are hankering for the knowledge true knowledge and uh, for the conference so grab the opportunity very less time is left so this is the information I have to give you for the course regarding the course and those who has already done the course you can feel also confidence uh, many guys are making videos they are repairing the boards and they are communicating on the groups we have lots of groups they are just keep on doing and they are also getting the support from the uh, group members thanks for that and uh, we also write s something if they stuck off to answer them we try to help them out to to find out the solutions of the problem so this will be lifetime support on our group so let's begin the process the process always will be the same you have to see the DC in voltage first and it's biasing also okay so the DC in voltage 19 volt we have injected you never forget to check the gate voltage also 3 volt since it is a p channel less voltage on the gate it must switch so see here what voltage we are getting here 19 point something volt good since the diode is against to source okay so that is why it is required a uh, less voltage to switch this voltage to source to drain so this is uh, this is switching MOSFET and this is the blocking MOSFET this is the blocking MOSFET this side is diode diode symbol is this side so that the battery voltage cannot enter to the motherboard or to the DC jack that is why the voltage comes here from the first MOSFET and then it will go to here but it requires some biasing to start to initialize or to switch this voltage to this this area and this is the common point of the motherboard here if you start getting voltage 19 volt then all across the motherboard you are getting but the today's topic is that what is the transition and this is what we will learn today so keep on watching the video at last if you don't watch it's good okay and uh, hopefully that you all enjoy the video and you I, I know especially I read the your comments especially I know that you never miss my video and thanks for that to comment and to be with us on the YouTube and uh, this is my prime duty as long as it is possible I will tell you free of cost okay that is why time to time we uh, bring the good co quantity with the quality things with the cheapest price that is why we launch this types of offer okay so you have voltage on this area but never underestimate like these types of things that if you have voltage here then all across the motherboard you are having voltage forget about that if particular area is not working you go and keep on checking that particular area that whether you are getting voltage or not so here you have voltage so you can think that your next step will go to 3.3 and 5 volt regulator 
and it must required win so let's go on the win but remember this is the very dangerous area okay the, this is the win 12 number of uh, TPS 51225 win is on the 12 number pin and 13 number is 5 volt LDO if both comes together or by mistake if it touch the blast will happen the burn will have will take place okay so beware so very consciously you have to check the 19 volt without talking on the phone okay because uh, while we are talking on the phone and we are working uh, more chances that we will make mistakes so here 19 volt is absolutely all right entered on the ic and it looks like good because uh, there is a no track damage so we can we are not keep a void to check on the pins this is my recommendation to all of you keep avoiding checking on the pins check nearby component and see whether it's physical scratch on okay scratch it and then start checking there is nothing you scratch it you will uh, make less mistake mistake as being human we are born to commit mistake but less mistake will take place the 19 volt is absolutely all right and nothing a special unable LDO pin so that is why we will get a 3 volt LDO on the 3 number pin of this particular IC so check the 3 number pin so absolutely all right and this types of architecture has a special type of uh, requirement like uh, if you uh, want 5 volt LDO if you want 5 volt LDO on this capacitor on the 13 number pin then you are required S5 enable always on EC on this types of signal you are required along with S5 coil voltage your LDO will be generated okay ever you get TPS 51225 you will notice 3 volt you will get first but 5 volt you will not get when you will get 5 volt when your 3.3 and 5 volt S5 on the coil is available and when your coil is activated the coil voltage is activated when you first this is the sequence I'm telling you pay attention here the first enable signal six number and 20 number is enable signal so you must get this one you are getting this one no you are not getting if you are not getting this it means your IO requirement is not valid your IO will release always enable or, or your EC on or S5 on or any type of enable signal it will only release when it has two things LDO for VC, VCC for IO and AC OK signal from the charging IC if it has valid logic this particular two logic also ground is required but we are not talking about the ground the two special thing I'm telling you that if IO is having as uh, LDO as a VCC and uh, AC OK from the charging IC then it will automatically release always enable or enable signal for the 3.3 and 5 volt as soon as it will come here it will come to six number pin now you can pay attention here the six number is is uh, connected see here this way it is directly connected with 20 number pin okay so all are same pin if we are talking about 6 or 20 I, both are same so if you are not having here voltage so of course you are not having voltage on this point why because IO is not sending voltage and IO is not sending voltage because it might have any issue if both requirement is fulfilled then we will say that IO is faulty if any of the requirement is left then we have to fulfill that requirement got this point now if uh, this particular enable is not functioning so my trip is deactivated if my trip is deactivated how can we achieve 3.3 and 5 volt as 5 voltage on the coil we cannot get got this point one num one number pin is trip and five number pins in trip so around one volt we should get on the trip pin we are not getting here there are the calculation I have told you in the 3.3 and 5 volt a uh, video you can watch that video a good information I have placed there that how you have to calculate the trip voltage now in in this uh, uh, particular case we can say my enable is missing okay 
and my enable is missing we need to reach to the IO but first of all you have to confirm four major areas if you have LDO so we have three volt LDO okay we have three volt LDO maybe I don't know that whether it is always since lots of time I have received this particular motherboard if any if you talk about this particular motherboard I really don't know that what is the logic what voltage will be on and what will be uh, voltage will be suspended so in order to understand that we need to turn on some time motherboard like NM motherboard any NM NMA uh, 362 NMA uh, 272 like any type of motherboard that has a suspended logic unless you press the power button it will never turn on so in such case what does happen that you have to press the power button so here is the power button so we are going to press the power button so here is the power button which side is no voltage which side is the ground let me set my multimeter to the bips on uh, yes now let's check this is the ground here we must get power upside we must get power on this side but we are not having power on this side four major area I was talking about four major areas if you have three volt LDO RTC will get power if that has no PSL logic if that has no PSL logic otherwise across the PSL logic after the PSL logic your requirement will be fulfilled like RTC area on off switch will get voltage if you have a, a proper LDO 3.3 volt only LDO we are talking about 3.3 volt LDO on off will get voltage RTC will get voltage SM bus will get voltage and your SIO will get voltage as a VCC okay so we don't have voltage on the on off switch so let's confirm whether your only on off area is having for uh, any problem or your entire 3 volt so D this is the diode D2501 this is the diode of RTC let me show you D2501 D2501 here see this diode uh, one uh, two number pin is connected with the coin cell and uh, one number pin is directly connected with the auxiliary S5 but I don't believe that uh, LDO is named with the auxiliary S5 let's find out one number pin and two number pin any of the pin must have since we are not using coin cell on this board so we one side we should not get any voltage and one side we must get voltage if LDO is present on this part board so come on and check so where were we on the diode this diode okay zero zero both said zero so what is the integration now what does it indicate us M unable is not coming look how do you guess and how do you apply logic it is not required that you go on the uh, IO and st start checking each and every signals RSM reset and power button art and no this is not the right way what is the logic you have only checked on off switch and you have confirmed that uh, the RTC is not getting supply whether this one or this one because you have seen that uh, one area pin number two was having some register so it is connected with the some register so this might be coin cell area this must have three volt if we have voltage on the on this area if we have voltage on this area also we have on this area backside there must be a capacitor what is the name of that capacitor yes just copy this one paste how quickly you reach to the conclusion at the right way not uh, uh, like hit and try see three number pin is the LDO 
and it must have this particular capacitor this capacitor PC and we are on this area PR 4505 4505 I think yeah this one we are on this area C PR4505 this is the PR4505 so we have voltage on the board terminal so backside there must be capacitor PC 454526 PC4526 C backside PC45 no corrosion nothing yes we have we absolutely have voltage on this area then why we are not having there might be chances that uh, this is cut off this is damage or something okay if uh, this is damaged then we will not get voltage on the s5 area but we have voltage on this area also we have voltage in in this area but despite we are not getting voltage on the rtc and on the on off switch because rest area you can see and enable is die it is not applicable no PSL logic in this particular motherboard okay and uh, thermal area VCC okay this is the VCC auxiliary RTC auxiliary S5 VCC is for from the this particular VCC is from the RTC area okay no VCC no LD so this area the VCC is taken from here so if we don't have voltage on this area then how can we get voltage on this particular area no voltage so where is the problem and what should we do now if we have if we don't have voltage so everything is all right it looks very good no corrosion on this particular point i'm not talking about entire motherboard entire motherboard is damaged that means there is, it seems it, it it has a liquid damage see here we have voltage we have checked on the capacitor back side and uh, on the top side where the 3.3 and 5 volt regulator is this it's going backside I think it's going backside and on backside is the capacitor so both side is all right I am unable to find that wh where is the location of the problem so what should I do I have to reach this LDO to any point whether you just connect to the on off switch or you connect it to the IO or you connect it to the RTC input area or anywhere where is the nearest point okay so I will take a jumper wire and I will connect from the RTC side the RTC area okay so there was something okay later on we will discuss about what was missing and what is that so one and two number pin it has one kilo ohm register uh, coin cell has so let me remove the DC jack hmm. let me set my multimeter to kilo and uh, we will find out that register what is the value mega ohm 10 wow I don't know what is that one one kilo and one kilo must be connected with the one kilo must be connected with the diode okay this is the two number pin okay we have board view also we can check it with the board view but some of the time you can check this particular motherboard with the board view but what about the others which you delegate there is a no board view then this is the process that how you have to identify the two number pin and one number pin here is nothing written so how can you identify and this area must be connected with the coin cell uh, positive side of the battery okay now let me check yes it is connecting with the positive side of the coin cell so this is we have identified that uh, this is the two number pin and this is the one number pin here if we inject the voltage from the LDO because both are the same thing there is a no there is nothing except transition one voltage is named with the LDO and the other is named with the auxiliary S5 and something like that you just do one thing somebody has tried he has changed this IC I think this diode many thing but if you don't know the requirement then what will happen to change 
one by one or to change anything if you change the 3.35 volt regulator each and everything you keep on changing there are the more chances that you will damage the motherboard okay I have a big jumper so I will cut it later on sorry here it should not touch anywhere oh let me cut it cut the extra point it's coating wire that is why uh, the coating must be okay because it will pass across the motherboard yes let's keep it here side by side okay now you can see 3 volt LDO the same area 2 2 2 2 2 2 2 RTC LDO okay I have done only this thing 5 volt I was not getting why because you know very well look it is not necessary that you check everything to confirm if you don't have unable you cannot have 5 volt LDO you cannot have entrip you cannot have s5 coil voltage this particular coil voltage you cannot have okay so it is a waste of time to check these things okay be confident that is why I'm telling you why should you join us to be confident that if he, this is not then this will never be now inject the power same same condition okay still it is not triggering still it is not triggering but my target is not that to turn on the board now the situation what is the improvement what I, I have taken a step what is the result what do I expect now I expect unable signal if there is a missing if pin is okay because I ha I don't have replaced it somebody has already replaced and I never checked I still I haven't checked the pin condition it is damage or what but we are just hankering after the requirements only okay now enable let me set my multimeter to voltage now we have got this is what I was expecting you will keep on checking the SIO requirements you will really get puzzled you, I told you in short that what should be there if AC detect if AC OK is present is still doing this if we do not get the only thing I have to check there on the 128 number pin of the SIO because we keep on checking this types of motherboard it is memorized sorry for that I'm not showing you the diagram because I'm just discussing the point in any motherboard I'm not talking about the Vegas and any Dell particular any motherboard whether it could be suspended it could be always if it is always then here we will get voltage before turning on and in the suspended after turning on we will get voltage after turning on if we have received 2 volt on this area because uh, there, there is the delta voltage because pure hardware shut down diode is there and uh, delta voltage we will receive here and the, the, the part is here the diode is here where is the diode here is the diode okay see the 3 volt you will get on this area and after the diode pass the voltage there is a 10 kilo ohm register here you will uh, you are getting 2 volt that is the delta voltage high there there must be high not low if pure hardware shutdown is low then you will not get any voltage on this area okay so here we are started getting voltage we can say my LDO 5 volt LDO has been generated or should be generated not has been generated I don't know about this art I see because he has replaced it whether it is okay or not I don't know but what I am expecting now I am expecting 5 volt LDO must be okay now it is okay and I am expecting 3 volt on the uh, coil if you want to waste your time you can waste before enabling if you want to test the voltage you can test I will not 3 volt we started getting this is what I I was expecting 5 volt we we are not we are not getting 
both voltage is okay always in the S5 mod in in this Vega series or in the latest generation motherboard now you will see the 5 volt 3 volt 1.8 volt and 1 volt prime would be always as soon as you will inject but not in always because uh, uh, if you idea pad if you see idea pad 8 generation 9 generation motherboard I have seen it is suspended and the gaming series like uh, Predator uh, like uh, Helios and uh, like uh, what to call it uh, many many more like uh, Asus even the Nitro one voltage is always and one is suspended architecture could be anything I really don't care about that one trip will be activated one will be after turning on concept is the main thing we tease the concept okay we tease the concept you it is not like that if it is dead I have done this you will do it will be okay never okay never follow me never follow me like that that I have done this case jumper uh, in particular case and I will do the same and the board will be okay it is not like that a dead motherboard reason could be hundreds which one you have to apply it's up to you it's up to me every individual has their own approach they will apply their own now uh, 5 volt is missing so really it is missing or it is generating and we are unable to find so this is called level 1 now level 2 that very uh, micro level micro level is that you capture the signal or you try to find the signals with the DSO now you pay attention on the DSO I will turn off the power supply and I will turn on first we will check the 3 volt what is the scenario it is dropping down this is the way the capacitor discharge now turn on PWM now out, outside yes we started getting voltage 3 volt yes good 3 volt good now 5 volt for a moment I I am expecting if it release any voltage even bit now come on see nothing no nothing no variation no nothing but I don't believe on the uh, coil actually the art is on the high drive and low drive the art is only that one that conclusion comes on the coil it takes time to reach to the coil I will only confirm that what area is faulty art area or in area I will confirm even there is a shorting in the art like if you ask me or as you comment if you tell me why are you not checking shorting so I will tell you if there is shorting for a moment my DSO is on the 500 microsecond 500 microsecond so thousand and thousand times under uh, the second we are and uh, still if we don't get any pulse any pulse any PWM that is not possible even that is short so uh, let me confirm the which is the faulty this is a trick you pay attention here it will really helpful for you how should we check now mm, I think ground reference is removed. now turn on this this area has PWM what area is that PWM yes here yes good what area is that oh it's 3 volt we are not getting 5 volt this 2 is for 5 volt now confirm any no any PWM turn on no and uh, this one this uh, is the low drive this is the high drive 
turn off turn on no PWM no PWM nothing few things you have to confirm like feedback you have to confirm BTST area you also have to confirm the high drive voltage so once let me set it on the X10 X10 I am setting and uh, let's find out the voltage is present or not yes it is present so feedback and uh, rest of the area uh, must be okay because if it is not okay then uh, it looks like here if you you just visualize this area you will see that uh, this has some corrosion the btst area only you check cold that it cold checking it must give you value 1.5 ohm good both side so this side is all right absolutely all right we are getting voltage 3 volt so that is why this is my concern one point seven so good this is good and this is feedback area I think this is the feedback area and it looks like good let me clean it it looks good no corrosion no nothing so I don't believe that without any corrosion and liquid damage this area there might be any fault even there is a faulty any voltage instead of 5 volt at least we should get 1 volt half volt millivolt it will generate some PWM but not at all we are getting PWM IC is faulty so we are going to change the IC okay let's come and change what we are not getting we after the jumper LDO to uh, S5 auxiliary we have made because there is a, some transition place is mis uh, we are unable to find we saw this area and nothing we have found now we have found good see he has marked something this was yes now we have got <laughs> that not looks like good the jump jumper wire jumper is the your ultimate solution at last solution okay if you are unable to find out if you are able to see I have got it <laughs> good however we have solution look without it later on we will do it okay we just clean it so that we will make a jumper wire here without it we will turn on so what was my conclusion that 3.3 .3 and 5 volt regulator is faulty so we will turn on so what we have made he here and what we have learned here if transition area is missing like one volt a, a certain voltage is having any transition one stage to other it will use zero ohm or a, a load switch or any MOSFET the both are the same thing the, there is a current measurement that uh, that has a load that what kind of load it can provide to that particular area that is why load switch are used and some of the time in some of the bo board I could show you in my class and there are the so many video I have made for my student that uh, a zero ohm is written like uh, 57 micro ampere or milli ampere it is written as a load like it is written on the 3.3 .3 volt S5 2 transition on the S0 state like uh, it has uh, LAN area has uh, uh, 47 milli uh, ampere load like your S0 state has some 4 uh, ampere load like 3.3 .3 and 5 volt is having 9 ampere to 11 ampere there is the OCP and over current protection area 11 ampere and uh, constantly it could provide uh, 9 ampere it is written on the schematic that is why load switch is given that it has some certain area it will go and uh, the load is fixed it cannot go beyond uh, 4 ampere so if short circuit take place load switch switch off that is why on and off okay now we uh, have to see the IC I have lots of IC at my hand I have made it this is the new IC I have used it 51225 and I, I have just cleaned this the base 
the base area is cleaned now I will fix it but why he has changed the RAM IC I really don't know uh, you have to uh, leave that this habit this is a not good habit that uh, once change 3.3 .3 and 5 volt regulator to ice i charging ic sometime you have to uh, change the io you will exhaust by doing this type of job and you will quit now the one number pin is this side where is the marking Hmm. that is why we clean with the soldering iron uh, new IC so that without any trouble we fix the IC hmm. nice now my jumper is moved oh here come on the same thing we are doing the backside jumper if we connect only then my work will be done so now we were not getting 5 volt and we found that uh, PWM IC PWM IC was what is that track physical damage uh, real tech uh, what is this? LAN IC LAN IC or HDMI maybe yeah, now we are injecting DC in. it's turned on good display will come or not I cannot say you now because the bias is done and many th more things and also there is a the physical some physicals but the priority was it is not triggering this is the physical area and I think we need to replace this uh, register or something we need to do the corrosion area okay I don't guarantee for the display but what is done in the not triggering case I have showed you now we will check and uh, confirm that uh, 5 volt is present now okay 5 volt is present now RAM is RAM voltage it is off now turn on again RAM yes RAM is absolutely fine VPP VPP voltage and DDR4 2.5 volt good 1.8 good 1.8 power good on the 7 number pin good 1 volt prime good VCC SA good 1 volt core good GFX we will get only when the display comes okay why because uh, RAM is required everything is required communication is required if every communication is fulfilled and valid then your GFX voltage will be generated later on I will check that why display is not coming or coming I uh, because I, I have only one RAM and I believe this is faulty now this is my testing keep on testing testing I have to see with the microscope that uh, whether any track is damaged or not because I have only single RAM at my home I have three DDR3 but only single DDR4 okay sorry for that I cannot show you so I hope guys that you have enjoyed this video and you have learned something new because very new guys are coming in this line and they have many troubles to repair the motherboard if you have this these types of video is sufficient for you so you, you just only keep on sharing these types of videos so that it will reach to those guys who cannot afford our videos those who cannot afford our videos that is why time to time we release these types of offer and we keep on try to support they, uh, those types of guys so that they can earn their from their repairing so keep on loving us like this way and uh, if you have interest in our course so you can contact on the given number and uh, please this is my request to all of you if you like or don't like doesn't matter you share it so that it can reach to those guys who is needed who is required some support some help okay so see you guys in the next case study for then keep on watching our videos thank you thank you for watching this video